South Sudan, where a Poseidon armed group in, in the country are heading towards the formation of a unity front and years of crisis in their country. Uh, the one army to be called the National Security Force will be talked with responsibility of keeping peace in the country. Let's have more details of that in this report. United to protect their countrymen from different warring parties that bottled each other during the South Sudan Civil War. South Sudan is committed to the formation of one force to be called the National Security Force. Barely two years following the signing of the Revitalized Peace Agreement, these troops were selected to become part of the new Unified and National Security Force. The country's first ever female Minister of Defense, Angelina Terni, recently traveled to the Alel Military Training Center in the Upper Nile region, where over 500,000 troops are undergoing recruitment. She spoke about the numerous atrocities including the killing and rape of civilians as well as the looting and destruction of people's homes during the conflict. We disrespected our women and our children. We disrespect our women and children. We don't respect our wives. We never respect our children. We leave them. Is this a lie? If anybody accepts the horrible and bad things he has done, then this is the right time to correct yourself. But if you pretend and hide your head as an ostrich on the ground, then you have a problem. Defense Minister Taney further told the troops of the urgency in going forward with the process of implementing the peace agreement, which has suffered numerous delays. Similarly, Head of Malakal Field Office at the United Nations Mission in South Sudan, Hazel Dewet, called for concerted efforts. That what we would like to see in a uniform national integrated army will commence without delay. So with those few words, let me say, and Miss, as the Upper Nile Head of Field Office, we are a partner for peace. We've been a partner for peace yesterday, and we will remain a partner for peace for all of South Sudan. In coming weeks, the troops undergoing training are expected to graduate for deployment to various locations across the Upper Nile. Since civil war broke out in South Sudan in December 2013, over 50,000 people have reportedly been killed and as many as 383,000 according to recent estimates. Nearly 4 million people have been internally displayed or fled to neighboring countries. 2018 brought an increase in regional and international pressure on President Salva Kiir and opposition leader and former Vice President Rick Masha to reach an agreement to end the conflict. For iAfrica TV, Sohna Tunkara. Well, opposition armed group there in South Sudan.